Hi there, in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to create and share a document and create and share a collection with your teacher or with another student. So first of all you need to make sure you're logged into your student Google or your staff Google account um, and make sure you are on the documents page. Then you click on create. First of all I'll show you how to create and share a document. Give your document a name and click on OK and then click on share. You can um, simply share it with one other person by typing in their code. So if you know your teacher's code you can start typing in, there we are, Miss Stimson is si at staff.x.school.nz. So you enter her email address or the teacher or the other student that you would like to share it with. Over the side, just make sure that you have it on the right setting. If you want them to be able to edit and comment, make sure that it says can edit or you can um, just change it to comment only or view only. So you can choose your setting and then you simply share and save. And it's as easy as that to share a document with your teacher or another student. So that document can now be accessed by that other person. If you want to go ahead and create a collection, if you know you're going to be doing a series of um, documents that you want to share with the same teacher or the same student, you simply go to create, click on collection, give that a name and click on OK. So there's collection one and you're going to share that. And it's the same rule again. So if I want to share that with Miss Stimson, I'm going to start entering her email address there. I've said you can edit what's in that collection and I can say share and save. Done. So now in the future if I do any other documents, if I create another document for that subject, another handy trick is that when I want to share that with the teacher. I can simply go back to the documents page and I can drag that document and simply place it in the collection and that way it is automatically shared with that teacher. However, one thing you do need to be careful about is making sure that you've changed the settings so they can edit or comment on the original document. Um, but that's a handy way to start collecting together documents for a certain subject and sharing it with your teacher.